What's up, Industrial Automation World? I'm Mike with Scott Equipment Company. Today we've got Ellis from Fender. He's back and he's going to teach us how to program the 84 series smart timer with a cell phone. Take it away, Ellis. All right. Today we're going to talk about the 84 series smart timer. Uh, so this is our 8402. This is a two channel digital timer. Uh, let's start with a point of comparison to something a little more familiar. This is our 80 series, our 80.01. Multifunction, multi voltage, six timing functions available to it. I think everybody's worked with something like this. But it's an important point of comparison as we go to something a little newer. Uh, this has two channels, digital, so you get that digital level accuracy. Uh, 30 timing functions available to each channel, and they have a 16 amp contact rating. So, uh, importantly, let's start with this right off the bat. One of these costs less than two of these. So if you're making use of both timed functions, if you have an application that has two timed functions, uh, this is a, a value play. This is, enters the conversation on cost alone. But there's a lot more to it than that, and I'll show you a little demonstration here. Uh, but it all centers around this little NFC chip on here. So that NFC chip is the same technology that enables uh, mobile payments, Apple Pay, uh, Google Pay, all that kind of stuff. And it pairs up with a little companion app uh, on iOS or Android. So let's take a look at that. All right, so I've switched my camera angles around here. This is a little rig centered around an 84 series that's gonna turn on some lights and we've got some signal push buttons. But let's start here with the app. So this little companion app uh, interacts with that NFC chip. We're just gonna select the 84 series timer and tap read configuration. And then I have to make physical contact with the device. So this isn't any sort of a Bluetooth pairing, uh, anything going over the airwaves. It's a really direct point of contact. And I can see already we've got some things pre-programmed. Uh, so when we give power to the coil, we've got an on delay on the top channel, six seconds. And we've got a watchdog, uh, which means I'm gonna trigger it with this little button here. And I'll show you how it makes this light blink. So let's give power to the coil. Turn it on my power strip here. So six seconds, we'll see these come on. And then just so you see what we're dealing with here, I can also press this button uh, and I've got a little warning flasher light. Uh, so that's a little obnoxious there. So let's reprogram this. Uh, this can happen in a powered on state, but importantly, it can also happen in a powered off state. So I'll show you that version. Uh, you can read and write to the device without it touching power even once. So uh, on channel one, let's change this maybe to, how about an asymmetrical flasher? And let's do maybe three seconds and uh, how about one second off? And then we'll go back and I thought this was a little much for a warning light. So let's dial this down just to maybe two seconds. And we're gonna send all that to the device. So same process here. The write is completed with success, it tells me, and I can switch this back on. And now we've got a programmed 84 series doing a little bit of a asymmetrical timing situation up top and a shorter push button uh, here on the bottom. And that is just gonna run uh, the second it receives power and uh, take it from there. So uh, that's kind of the overview of the 84 series. If you have questions and want to get your pricing and availability, reach out to the guys over at Scott Equipment and they will get you taken care of. Thanks. Ellis, thanks for taking some time today to show us how to program the 84 series smart timer with your cell phone. That's some pretty cool technology. If you've got any questions about Fender products or their smart timer, be sure to reach out to your local Scott Equipment Company account manager or email marketing at scotteq.com. We'll get back to you with the answers you're looking for. Thanks for taking some time today to watch our video. Like this video and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more great industrial automation videos. Thanks.